Okay, we're gonna create a tier list, okay? And we're gonna do our best to order it. And then, um, but there's gonna be a few that is a tie, okay? Okay, so this is the mid-season, right? We're in the mid-season now, right? So we're, we're, we're like, what, September? October, November, December, January, February. Yeah, February. If February is end of season. So March, maybe, yeah? It has six, six months. So this, has this been six months? It came out May, June, July, August, September, five. And then there was off season two months. Oh yeah, we're mid season. For Dracari, what's up, baby? How you been, brother? How you been? Yeah, so mid season. Okay, so now we're gonna do a mid season. Hmm. Mid season two tier list. Hmm. Okay, okay. I would say my. Okay, my. Hmm. F champ. There you go. So it's just my opinion. Okay. I don't think for a second there's a. Mind you, there's a bad character in this game. But let me highlight this first. Mm. Where the fuck is my phone? How are you, sir? Why am I getting... Hold on. All right, guys, this is it. This is it. Before we release Terry, because there's going to be a new patch, right? Before we release Terry, we are going to do uh, the, the, I would say the final mid-season. Mid-season 2, Street Fighter 6 tier list, okay? And we're going to do my best to um, order them, but there's going to be a lot of characters going to fall in the same boat that they're like a little bit unstable, but they're all of them are really good. I think this, this version of the game is extremely balanced. That... Every character is quite strong to win against any other character. It's just that collectively, in a tournament, also in a big tournament format, it's going to be harder for those, quote-unquote, not as strong. I don't want to use weaker characters. Not as strong of a character to win or close out the tournament, you know? Because, like, ultimately, you need to have multiple, like, um, stable situations enough that you're not put in situation where you have to make a hard guess on something. So like the best characters in the game does not have to do that as much. So in result they and then in result they're gonna be more consistent to be stable, right? Okay. So a balance patch is for sure. Um when Terry comes out. So let's do this before Terry. Okay. So we gotta go I don't think there's an S tier in this game. I think they are just a plus I guess I use put S, whatever, it doesn't matter. I think they're A. I don't think they're S plus. Yeah, the reason why they're S is like I don't want them to feel like they're in the same. Like they're they're a tier, a letter above. This one I feel like it's a lot closer, A plus and A. And then A minus. I feel like they're closer. And then there's gonna be like the B's. But you, I'm still gonna change this. I'm just like I'm just getting them ready, okay? So okay, we're just getting it ready. Okay, so let's talk about these guys first. All right, so I don't know a single bad character in this game, I swear. But I have to somehow order them. And basing off how many matchups do they struggle, but they can still win them, right? Kind of obviously every matchup is winnable, but they're not in favor, right? So, and I'm basing this off at the highest level play as well. Okay, the highest level play. So, um, so I would say maybe Honda is potentially the worst character. Potentially. But I feel like he's here. That's what I feel. But I know realistically it's going to be hard for him to win a tournament. So Honda should be here. Okay. Um. Okay. So we start with the Honda guy. The worst guy. So I think the best characters in the game. Characters. Plural. It's, it's going to be hard to order them up. But let's... Let's put them all already here, which is super obvious, right? We're gonna put Akuma, we're gonna put Ken, we're gonna put Guile and Rashid. Um, yeah, we're just gonna put them all for Ed, Cammy, for now. 
Okay, okay. So, like this. Really, really. So, I do think these are the six best characters. Though you can put a lot of characters with them here. But I don't think they belong with them. Because they are more stable than the others. So, for instance, Akuma is probably the least stable out of all of them. But he's super good. That it all makes up. I'm not saying Ken is the best. Okay, I'm just like, I'm just, let me just, I won't order that yet. It's not ordered yet. And then the second tier will be like somewhere, sort of like here. Like, sort of like just a tier below. Or like a letter. Or like a, yeah. Not a letter, but you know. Just A from A+. Plus. Um, so, I, I, that's why I would like put Zangief. Jury and um, where's the fucking guy? These guys. I, oh shit, shit, sorry, sorry, Bison. Um, and then where's yeah? So before we continue here, Unaki for now. Uh, and Luke. I'm not sure yet, but let's just do this first. Let's start with this. Um, so I think that. If you go to the tournaments in Asia that we just opened up today, we checked out most of the tournaments in Asia. We checked out Street Fighter League. If you look at Street Fighter League. Um, look at Street Fighter League. We got Sage M here. Okay, here. Okay, this is like what? The World Warrior of Japan, right? If you look at World Warrior of Japan and, and you look at the pools, for instance, it's like Akuma, Jury, Bison, Akuma, Chun Li, Zangief. Awesome there. And you've got Jury, a bunch of Akuma, 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 Ed, Bison, Akuma, Rashid. I think if we, oh, uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. Rashid, Ed, uh, Akuma, Guile, Rashid, Zangief, Blanca, N, as it plays JP Kimberly, right? And then this is the Aki. Right? And this is the Zangief. What's Narku now? I did not know, I forgot what our heart Narku plays. JP. Um, yeah, so this is Kra. I do not know these guys, unfortunately. Ed. Um, KB plays Bison. You see what I'm saying? You see, so yeah, it's a, there's a trend there, right? Like, so everybody that we're mentioning are mostly there. But now you look at the end result of this, right? Okay, so you have a Guile. So that you look at the top eight, right? So top eight is this. So we have a Guile, Akuma, Akuma. Wait. Yeah, so Akuma, Akuma, Guile, top three, right? And then Aki, and then Rashid, Dalsim, Ed, and Rashid, and JP. Right, okay. So now let's go to the... Um, the other world warrior. Like I'm talking, like I can only speak for Asia since I'm in Asia, so it's not fair. So every every region will have their own perspective because they get to see more of their players in their region. So I won't speak for the other regions, even though I'm NA for life. Um, yeah. So this is the first world warrior in Japan. So you got Kakuru, which won basically with Akuma the whole way, but then he picked the last game before the reset. He picked. Bison for the closeout. So Akuma and Bison won. Okay? In a sense? So Kazunoko. So we got a Kami and Ken. We got Ed again and Akuma. In loser side, we got Ed and Akuma. In the other side, we have Ed and Guile. All right. Okay. Where is the... Street Fighter League. Street Fighter League. Uh... 2024. It's right here, actually. I fucked it up. It's right here. It's 2024. Um. Okay. So this is the Street Fighter League in Japan, which is consists of twelve team twelve. 12 pro teams of four members, okay? So, that's quite a lot of players. This will be like, what, like 20, because a lot, fuck man, 48 players? 12 teams times four, right? Okay, so you got a Kami, Kami, a Kami, Guile, 
Jury Chun. Okay, Akuma, Rashid, Ed Dawson. Chun Li, Blanca, Akuma, and Jamie. Hmm. Namo plays Bison and Blanca. You got Blanc you got Guile, Akuma, and you know, Ed. This one's a bunch of this one's Ryusei's team and Sako. So you got a JP, Akuma, Ken, Akuma. Bison, Akuma, Kami, Akuma. Akuma, Bison, Ken, Ed, Yanai, I do not know what character he plays right now. Tokido is Ken, Akira is Kami, Dalsim, Ed. Then you got Momochi, Ed, Akuma, Ed, Johnny, Marissa. You feel me? Okay, now we got Ethazan, Zangief, Ken. Then you got John Takuchi, Rashid, Akuma. So I'm telling you, half of the fucking contestants or players are all Akuma players. Or in Rashid and Ed. So those three gotta be top three in the game. I'm sorry, but that's from my region. Okay? Okay. Yuguchi won the, the other one. Number two. This is number one. And number two is Higuchi. Basically, we have a lot, a shit ton of Akuma representation and Ed. So look, you look at just this. I just showed you all the fucking things. Right? I didn't have to re show you that. And I would want, I would not speak for other regions. Okay. All right. So, so we gotta look at it like this. We always see Akuma, this dude and Ed, and Guile, and Rashid. And then we see these guys at the end, okay? So, I think these are the top six in the game, though I cannot put a figure on who's the best character in the game. I'm really struggling. I don't think it's Ed. The closest for me would be Akuma and Rashid tied, with the third place being Guile or Kami fourth. And then I had Ken and Ed tied, if I were to rate it. I do think Bison has a good matchup chart across the board, except for Kami and Zangief. But it's like Bison beats this guy, this guy, 5-5, five, five, loses, maybe slight advantage. And then I do not know this, but you know what I mean? So Bison is really, really in the meta. You can even argue put him here, to be honest with you. But I cannot put him the same level as them, like same as Zangief. I, th I think like, I do think that Bison might be better than than these four as well. But I don't want to put him in the same tier as this. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I know Aki is super good, but we can't put make uh, we can't just say Aki is like super high. But just like literally two players that we know of. So let's just move forward. Um, about okay, Zangief. Everybody hating on Zangief, and he's super good, and he is super good, and he's super busted. Problem is, it's gonna be rough to win a fucking tournament with him. And please, I do not want to hear Men already did it. Okay, Men already will do that with any character. I promise you that. Okay, so I'm saying like here that we just I just showed you the uh, the CPT stuff. Okay, all the best Zangief players are here in this tournament as well. I promise you. But they drowned. Okay, so check this out. We got Kichipa. And then we got... What's his name? Junior and Kobayan were all in losers. And they... Like, Ethazan losers here. Junior here. Where, where's Kobayan? Kobayan here. Winners, winners, right? Okay, cool. They qualify. So now they go to the... Now we go Junior somewhere there as well. Now we go to the bracket side here, and now you're gonna see them. Okay, so Kobayan, it would be. So Itazan is already in losers and lost to Kiyochipa, right? Kiyochipa Kakuru, Kiyochipa beat Kakuru. Um, Kobayan Jr. Jr. here. Um, so what happened to the, to the Zangief players? Who the fuck beat them? So Zangief lost to John Takeuchi. The two out of three format is also hard for the Zangi players. Mm, and then Narikun. Oh, Kobayan got Dalsim. Okay, that makes that's fair. And then Kobayan lost Mirror. But then Junior is one the second best, third best, lost to Yukari, which I do not know who. But 
it's solid to get this far in Japan. But say basically all the Zangi players did you cannot go far despite those are the best Zangi players in Asia. Okay, like Itazan. Look, Itazan lost to the Zangi, lost here. Beat Haku though, but then lost to Ryukichi. And we got eliminated, you know. So like I, I'm not saying nobody I'm not downplaying Zang, you guys. I'm just telling you that he is you can argue that he's just as strong as this is actually really hard to do. You know what? Let's create a new tab bucket. Let's create a new one. This is the the hard very hard um tier list. We know these two are the best. This four. And not split them. No way. No, there's no way. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Sorry. It's uh, it's it's bullshit if you do that. Yeah, it's bullshit. It will be bullshit. I wonder who's better, Cami or Guile. Still not sure. Um, and this one, I don't think. See, Jury. I don't know if Jury is as good as Bison. To be honest, I can see these three. So I guess you can just do it like this for now. No, we cannot keep going. Then these guys are still A, though it's hard it's getting tougher and tougher because Did I just delete somebody? Who did I delete? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Um Okay. So you gotta understand how relevant you are with the matchup spread. Okay? So Zang gives super good with the matchup spread, though. What works out for him is that he probably, I mean, he loses for sure to Aki slightly. And he loses to. Maybe slightly to Ed. And then he just cooks motherfuckers, okay? But then you have to make some reads, so. I, I want to talk about just the top section. Then now you got Luke. I don't think Luke is as good as these guys overall in a tournament format. Overall, but he's still A. You understand? So I'm saying, like, I don't think Luke is as good as these guys. But I know Chun Li could be as good. Chun Li is still good. So maybe the top 12. Maybe the jury is here. Uh, okay. And now I think Blanca and JP is super good still. Though they have, they, they, this is what I'm saying. They run into the situation where the, Relevant characters at the moment actually fucks them up slightly. Okay, so Luke now loses to Ken according to Takeda as well. You know, but I believe that struggles versus Ken now because of the changes, and he loses hard counter to this guy, and he loses to this guy as well here. Lose to her. I do not know this matchup, but it doesn't look like Luke is gonna have a great time fighting Ed. Luke, okay here, probably does okay with his. Definitely lose to Aki. Um, I do not know, this is probably 5-5, five, five. loses to this one, and slightly loses to this bitch. Okay, this is really rough. We had JP does well versus a slight advantage, maybe 5-5. Five, five. Slight disadvantage, 5-5, five, 5-5, five. Five, five. advantage, slight. 5-5, five, five, slight advantage, 5-5. Five, 5-5, five. Five, five, slight advantage. 5-5, five, five. only lose to this motherfucker right here. Hard body though. You know? Like they said I'm saying, like JP's smart chip chart is super good actually. Okay, Blanca on the other hand, like he does well versus most of them, though the fact that he has to make some reads a lot, that makes him inconsistent in tournaments. You know? Makes it makes him really, really inconsistent. Um no way. So he become mostly becomes a counter pick character. Um, you know, so Shuto, I mean Shuto, um, what's the name of Nemo, has a Blanca, but also has a JP, and also has a Bison, right? Um, so you, there's not a lot of, like, purely Blanca mains lately. Like, Finn really plays Blanca and JP, right? Okay, so we got, now we're in this uh, Ryu predicament. Ryu is super good in this game. I am telling you guys, Ryu is cooking. Like, like, same as this guy. He's really good. Thing is... Who the fuck does he beat? 
I want you guys to answer that. Who the fuck does Ryu beat? I guess I can tell you every character that I can mention here would have a matchup that they do good. Who does Ryu beat? Yeah, what's up? What's up, Chuckster? He beats Lily? Wow. Well, guess what, guys? He does not beat them. I I'm talking an actual clear-cut advantage. Okay? If you... I a lot of Ryu players hate fighting Lily. Okay? He beats Jamie. He does not beat those characters. The guys, I'm talking beat. Like, loses to. I mean, uh, wins. It's kind of like how, let's say... Not to the extent of like a Lily versus Zangief, because I believe that's the worst matchup in the game. But let's say uh, Luke loses to Akuma, right? It's quite obvious, right? Okay, which one, the, which matchup does Ryu feel like that? Does not beat anybody? Thank you. Does not. He, okay, I'm telling you this. Loses to this guy, loses to her. She goes 5-5 five, five with this. Uh, I didn't know about this one, so this is probably a 5-5. Five, five. Definitely gets captured by Zangief. Don't worry about Bison. Don't worry about that. This is his father. Ed's... Ryu's father, okay, is Ed. This is the mom. This is the mom. Cammy and Chun-Li, brother. Ken, 5-5 five, five forever. And this is... This dude's been fucking him since the start of the Street Fighter V. He's been fucking Ryu for the last 10 years. This has been his father, is Guile. Okay, I am not... Guys, look, I am keeping it 100 with y'all. Okay? So I so now, Ryu does okay versus Akuma, 5-5. Five, five, that's okay versus Rashid. But does he, he got a lot of parents. Okay? That's an issue. But he's a very good character. So now imagine that in a tournament setting. In a tournament setting. Uh, like. Um, how are you going to do that in a row? What do you mean Aku Luke beating Akuma? What do you mean Luke beating Akuma? What are you talking about? You're not listening to what I'm saying? Uh, Luke loses to Akuma. Um, Alright. So now we're going to talk about this stuff. Now so we got a few other characters here. Um... Let's see. Let me just clean this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is okay. She doesn't lose to anybody. I don't think she loses to anybody. Maybe she only loses to Zangief, if that. Cammy. And I don't think she loses to DJ anymore. Nor Blanca. She's really sol solid character. Super strong. Um, Akuma has some bad matches to Bison. Rashid loses to Bison. Guile. Who does he lose to? Guile's matchup charts is insane as well. Yeah, same as Ed's. And so, yeah. It's like a, I guess that's the underlying part about it. Yeah. You don't think Akuma beats it? What are we talking? Are we like. Guys, I'm talking about, I'm saying this is based on the highest level play. Okay? Akuma already got the paper signed when he went to the adopt, you know, whatever the fucking place that is. Foster care, whatever the fuck. He officially adopted this dude, Popeyes. Hmm? Hmm? Okay? This is his father already. So just, just, just know this, okay? Why do you think motherfucker switched this cat? They don't want to deal with that fucking thing. It's too hard. Alright. So. I do think he will be here. Um, for sure. No doubt. So now we're left with these guys. Um, I think Lily's so. I think Lily's here too. Lily's super good. She does lose to. Gooly and Dalsim. This dude. You know, she has good matchup spread. It gets fucked by Blanca, though. Who can fuck her, too? But it's okay. Jamie, on the other hand, 
on paper. Jamie on paper is like super complete, like, but everything's a microtransaction. You know what I'm saying? Everything's a microtransaction. You know, it's like you get the fur, you get the perfect. Like, imagine you got a perfect car, but only on Tuesdays and Thursdays, maybe on Saturdays. Some other days, it just feels like it's just not gonna work. It might not get you there. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really take that fucker to work because homeboy might not show up. Right? It's one of those. That's the problem. Okay? Because th there's so many games when the Jamie was dehydrated. The Jamie player couldn't even get a sip, brother. You've seen me do that. I'm making examples for these fucking creatures. Okay? Every time I try to get on, brother, all the Jamie players all of a sudden, except for one, signs off. The entire CFN. All of them goes offline already in my region. They already know daddy is back. I am telling you, except for one. Okay? All of those motherfuckers go to sleep early. It doesn't matter if it's 4 p.m., motherfucker. Everybody gonna get off if I'm on, brother. Okay? Jamie is so good, but so unreliable. So, if I have... Okay, so they're going to put them to first here, okay? I, I, I Mind you, I'm going to change these letters or like positioning second. Now, it makes me question, who is better between these... The, okay, oh, first of all, where do we put Kimberly first? I, yeah, yeah, they try to be cheeky. The fact that, look at that. The fact that the Jamie players has to get us to be cheeky, to all of a sudden to get a target combo and a dive kick added to their toolkit. To be cheeky, you need to be slick about him. You do a 50 frame move that you might hopefully, your opponent doesn't jump at you, round one start or drivers at you. It's like, brother, there's something wrong there. Like, you know, all right. Kimberly is super. Unstable, but I just like a few. I mean, I'm sorry. I just said I'm not going to talk about other regions, but I know I'm NA for life. But, you know, I, I see that Kimberly's do good in, a, in NA though, but they don't obviously win. But Psycho's there and, and, um, and Shine. So there's quite a representative, I mean, representation of the characters, though they place a lot of tournaments at the same time, but the character has some issues. So this one places better than these two. Okay. He places better than these two. I'm not just primarily talking about item here. I'm not talking about item only. Talking about random doing well in the RDC tournament. Okay. Okay. I'm talking about Joey as well. Okay. All right. So they start. They started to, con to continuously capture people, but they just couldn't seal the deal. Okay. So it, we know that she cannot win a tournament. Right? That's not possible. I I, I said this like the first week that Bison came out. Bison has won more tournaments. I'm telling you this. The first week, actually six days. No, no. Yeah, six days that Bison came out. He has won more tournaments than all the Manon players combined in the last 13 months. I'm actually, I'm so sorry, not 13 months, 14 months. Okay. So like, so, but then she's kind of good. So it's kind of hard, right? To rate, right? But then they placing, so. So I guess placing is also something you should rate, right? So how many of certain things representation, right? So and so in theory, if you're gonna do that and you basically you know, all all over the world, then Ryu should be here, because who the fuck places with him? Even though he's not good, you can see places with these guys, her and her, right? And these are really close results of representation, right? But we're not doing that. We're not doing that, right? We're doing actual list the mid season. So I, I, Ryu is really good, but 
got a lot of parents, you know, somebody can claim him. Like if Ryu gets in trouble in school, the principal's there, bust out that fucking book, right? The, the contact information, the emergency contact, that motherfucker got everybody's number. Ryu, you know, some, but sometimes Uncle Dawson will show up and pick him up in school because he was a bad boy, right? Mommy Chun-Li, you know what I mean? Mommy Cammy. okay? You got the DNA owner, Mr. Guile, to pick him up in school as well. Like, he got a lot of parents. That's the problem here, okay? So, we got some issues. You got... I did not know what to call this one. Like, I mean, this, 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 this dude right here. Stepdad. Stepdad DJ. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like we got a lot of issues. So, in a sense, those are the motherfuckers you're going to run into the tournament. <laughs> that is simple. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. So now, I do think Ryu is super good, but that, that's my reasoning why I decided to put him here. I think Manon should be better now because even though she's not that... Though, though it's hard to play Manon to be consistent, I think she plays enough and she's... All the specialist players in the world, I think there's more rep minor representation, you know. And then, so I put her there. And then we got Marissa. Marissa, on the other hand, mind you, reuse good. No, I have not said any character is bad, okay? I'm taking no character is bad. Actually, you know what? I need to put this here because you're gonna get out some creatures out there. She started saying, I'm gonna say this character is bad. All characters are good. I'm just saying that. Good. No one is bad. Read. Okay? Alright. I just gotta put that there. You got you got some you got some people there which is gonna be saying things. Uh, actually, I'm gonna ruin this. Mm, okay. All right. So now we got Marissa. She did not get worse, um, as much. But the okay. So one of the overall game mechanic, um changes that we had which is the perfect parry nerf which the which um when like the the amount of drive gauge that you lose from a perfect parry punish is a lot it's you know they, they added scaling now before there was no scaling on the drive gauge that you lose that that indirectly nerfed jp that sort of indirectly nerf her in a sense because before she would get a random perfect parry into the fucking thing starts punching the fuck out of you um, so that was like a big deal. And then they nerf her command grab that now if she does command grab and she does a driver command grab, it's not real anymore. It's only like plus 16, plus 18 or something after the command grab. So the okay is gone. So now she becomes more susceptible to, you know, to like, so now there's more layers into her mix. Also, they nerf her level three into a drive rush checkmate. She, I believe she's only plus 14 now. So she, it, so now you, and then she's really far, so she cannot do a driver scratching medium punch, or else you can trade with it, in a sense. I think, yeah, you can trade. So compared before, how that's a guaranteed checkmate. Now it's not. So she lost both those. So that's a big deal. Even though they buff some of her damage. But now let's look at her matchup chart. Does she beat anybody? Lose to this. Lose this. Lose this. Five 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 five. I don't know this. No, the no, the no. Yeah, mother, mother. Oh yeah, this is mother too. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah. She doesn't do well in the matchup spread. So you can put her here. And now I put Dawson. Um. So I don't know. Okay, I gotta look. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta judge Dawson based on the character, not based on when I play it. Because when I play it, and then I'm sure I play against the other pros, and I fucking demolish them, does not mean 
maybe my character is super OP or something. And maybe I can just, this has a slight skill edge that would just make it better, right? But I don't think he's bad at also. But I'd also see him place in tournaments or win tournaments. So, but not as much as the other ones as well. Um, but I'm busy coaching. So it's not like I'm playing like, like that. Plus I just took a break, so. So I do think his matchup chart is one of the best in the game. Like, I don't think he has a, he only loses to one. Like, if you could say, like, really, undoubtedly, he loses to Cammy for sure, right? He loses to Ken. The DJ is not even that hard. Then, a slight to Rashid. That's it. 5-5. Five, five, beats. Demolishes. Ed. 5-5. Five, five, of course. 5-5. Five, five, advantage. I think I beat. I mean, not I. Okay, Zal Dawson, 5-5. Five, five. Uh, 5-5? Five, five? Maybe Dawson advantage this season? I... Me and Mena both agree Dawson beats Blanca this season by a little bit. Mm, but, like, Dawson beats her. Her. 5-5. Five, five. Yes. 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 Like, I'm just saying, like, that I'm not even being biased here. Like, I'm just telling you that. Okay? But... But sure, okay. It's not. It's not potential. What I'm talking about. But I can't. I can't somehow compel myself to put Dawson with these creatures. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, I can't do that. Okay. But I don't think he also lives in the suburbs, like like you know, like like these guys. You know, I think he lives in a better area. In a better area. You know what I mean? So you know, he doesn't live with them. You know, like but. You know what I mean? So, I'm having a hard time here. He's gotta be top of B, huh? Top of B plus. You think Manon is better than Dawson? Well, you gotta go home. I mean, it might be you're already home. You need to relax. Whatever you are on. Okay? Don't share with anybody. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking my mom might be B+. Plus. Yeah, she's B+. Plus. But these guys are here. This is why you have to be specialist, 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 specialist. Everyone sort of becoming a specialist at the highest level. Specialist. Anybody with two hands? Um, specialist. I thought before was specialist. Now anybody, anyone, everyone. Sure. This one is a lot. Specialist. Yes, we're gonna hate it, but specialist at the highest level. Specialist. Specialist. Quite a lot of them. So yeah, this is my, I think this is my list. I think I'm happy with this one. So everyone is good. Nobody is bad. Everybody's super strong. I'm basing this off with their matchup chart and their performances in a tournament and with the players that I see in Asia. I, you know, so sure there's a few characters who are influenced from NA's results because I'm NA for life. Like, you know, but then I see Manon, like Joey and, and, and Adam, but then I see also Manon, like just today, the tournament, uh, like was in the grand finals, you know, um, and and you got Tachikawa with, with this guy as well sometimes. So there's quite a, a few, definitely way more than Ryu, Marissa, and Kimberly on the, this guy combined. Though, yeah, so that's why I'm more compelled in this one. This is probably the most balanced Street Fighter I've ever played in my life. I'm so serious. Though maybe it's just because of the game dynamic is so... It's super... Just a lot of like... Every character... Okay, in Street Fighter 5, they made sure everybody has their own V skill, whatever. So that created a separation. Somebody might have a better V trigger, V, v skill, whatever, right? Okay. 
So this is really good. It made everybody unique, but then it also made the game super hard to balance in a way. So now they can have certain top tiers for everything. But then Street Fighter 4, it is a generalized game mechanic like focus attack, but everybody's focus attack frame advantage is all different. And also, obviously, the hurtbox, hitbox, and ranges all vary depending on each character. So some characters that are that can utilize that mechanic are, you know, are automatically a better class than others, right? Plus reversal there is super good. Um, how far your backdash is as well, um, and your combo damage, etc. Right? And your set. But in this game, everybody's frame advantage from, say, drive rush is the same. Sure, the range is all different. But it's it's a lot of similarities. Everybody would have a parry, etc. So in a sense, there's a lot of like um, overlaps that that is pretty similar. And damage of CAs are all same, except for Manon's level five. Uh, maybe this guy slightly. Yes, this guy and Zangief and the Raging Demon. Did I miss anything? Yeah, one, two, level four, three, four, yeah, and five. There's only five characters, so that's slightly better damage on CA, okay? Or level three, whatever you want to call it, those five characters. I did not rank these guys. I failed to do that today, but I just put them in or uh, in per 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 section per row okay uh but yeah this is i think my mid-season list i think it's i mean put this guy here but i think he's gonna be here i think that he i think this is pretty fair i think this game is like also outside of the highest level play every character is obviously viable you know you like like, if you feel like you're not ranking up with whatever said character you're maining, I promise you it's not because your character is weak. It's because something about your game is weak that you can fix and improve on. So it's never about your character, right? Sure, at the highest level, play would matter because you're playing against pros back to back to back to back to back in a row, right? So let's notice. All right. All right, guys. That was the list. Uh, surprise? Well, yeah.